Hello, Station students. I'd like to demonstrate and show you how to take a screenshot. First, we need to install the software if we're using it the first time. So if we come down to our Start button down here in the bottom left-hand corner, and we click on Start, currently we need to load a shortcut. So I'd like you to start using your keyboards and start typing SNP, S-N-I-P. You'll have a couple tools that pop up. We are looking for Snip and Sketch. If you click the arrow over to the right, it'll give us a few options. We're looking to install or pin this to our Start button, which doesn't show up here. So click the down arrow, and it gives us a few other options. Find Pin to Start. Please select that, as well as Pin to your Taskbar. Pinning it to your taskbar will give you a shortcut down here in your taskbar, as well as we did in our start menu over here at start. It popped up right here. I'll just move it to a location I can see easily. When I open up Snip and Sketch, which will allow me to take a screenshot and draw on that picture if need be, first thing it needs to do is I'd like to start a new Snip. So we can click on New. It will gray your screen out, showing you that it is ready. It'll give you a small marquee, and I'd like you to drag around the object that you'd like to take a picture of and snip. Please do not get much of the empty space around your picture. This is nice and tight around only the information that I need, and I have two options. I can copy, which will take a copy of this so I can put in my notebook. Please notice the icon for copying is two pieces of paper. Or I can save this as a separate file if I need to upload it to Schoology. Today we're just going to take a copy and I will click on the copy icon. I get a check there indicating that it has done so. And now I can go down to my notebook if I find Google Chrome and the page on where I need to copy it. And now it's already been copied, so I can paste. I can go up to Edit, Paste, or Control V, and it will put in my screenshot there. If all you need to do is copy, you can go back and close Snip and Sketch by closing the red X. You do not need to save it because you have your original in whatever file you're doing, as well as you as your copy in your notebook. So you are all set. Continue to close. And that is how you use Snip and Sketch to take a screenshot. Thank you.